Hello, YouTube friends. Uh, I think if you saw my last video, which I don't think you did because there aren't any views, <laughs> but I um, wanted to tell you that I'm back and we are going to work on this bathroom skirt that I talked to you about the other day. Um, this is the material that I chose because my bathroom is gray and white and I have a little bit of an orange um, accent color but not too much I like I love orange but I don't have a lot of that going on so we're gonna kind of figure this out together um, if it doesn't work out I'll we'll figure some other way of doing this but the first thing I want to tell you is I bought this sticky back velcro it comes with the um, sticky velcro which i placed onto my bathroom sink i needed two uh three boxes because um, i needed to cut use two of the uh, velcro sticky um swatches and then i had to use about a quarter to maybe a Two, no, about two, three inches more to get to the uh, diameter of the sink. So you're going to need like three, uh, depending on what size sink you have. I have a very small sink of this Velcro. So I already took the sticky part of the Velcro and I, I stuck it all the way around my bathroom sink. So that's done. Um, now with the mater material, this is about the length of my sink, and I hot glued a hem all the way around the length of the sink skirt and the bottom of the sink skirt. It's not perfect, but I tried to keep it as straight as possible. Now this will be the top of the sink skirt, which is where I want to hot glue um, the Velcro strips, which will adhere to the sink itself. So I am going to I have my hot glue on and we are going to snip. Now, like I said, I've never done this before. So we're kind of working, we're doing this together Okay, so like I said, I needed two rolls of this plus about maybe two, three inches more to get around the sink. So we are going to hot glue it on the inside of the material because that's what's going to attach to the sink. Hopefully this will work. So I'm going to do a piece with you to show you how I do it. And then after that, um, let me see if I can get this thing to stick. Uh, I'm going to finish it off off camera. I'm just going to show you. Let's turn it around. And you want to have uh, about a length and a half of your material. Like you measure your sink and you want to have that length plus a little more because I, I think I want to gather it. I'm hoping this works, but I want to gather it to make it more of a uh, pleated look um, skirt. You, I, I don't know. You'll see what I mean when we get there. Okay, so I am going to fold it over. I'm going to do a little pleat first and fold it over. And this material isn't straight, so it's not going to have an even hem to it. Okay. I'm going to take it right down the line here. Okay. Now, you see what I'm doing? I made a little pleat. So, I'm going to do this part. 
is long. I'm going to do the length of this to show you how I'm doing it. And then the rest I'll do off camera. So you're going to do the pleat all the way down. Hot glue is the best. As if I haven't said that enough. Okay, and I think a little bit more and I should be there. I thought about, I'm still not quite sure how I would go about it, but I thought about crinkling the skirt up a bit and adding ribbon, kind of going in and out, in and out of the material. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. I don't know how that would work out, but that's been going in my head a little bit. All right, I think I have enough length to show you what I'm trying to do here. All right, so I made, this is the top of the sink skirt. Okay, so I have it hemmed, and this is the Velcro, and I'm gonna hot glue it right to the top of the hem. And the rest I'll do off camera. But I wanted to show you, like I said, all, all corners are already folded down and uh, pleated, I mean, hot glued down. So it has a nice finished touch. Okay, now here's the Velcro, and we're gonna start hot gluing that on to the pleat. Like I said, this is the first time I've done this, so. I wanted to do the sink skirt if you didn't watch my last video because I don't have any storage space in the bathroom. And I don't like the ugly pipes showing underneath the sink. They're just hideous looking. So I, I just wanted to make it look a little prettier and not spend a whole heck of a lot of money buying uh, shelving or whatever. Yeah, it, it adds up. Okay, so I'm hoping this sticks. I wish I could get something to hold this down. Okay. I'll give it a little extra glue so it adheres. All right, we're going to press and hold so that the glue sticks to the Velcro, back of the Velcro. Okay, we're almost there, friends. Make sure there's enough glue. Sometimes when I craft, I haven't a clue what I'm doing. I just keep doing it until I'm through. And I'm like, oh, okay, this worked out okay. I, in other words, I don't have a real plan. I think of a little bit of a plan. And then I go with it and I end up, it either works out or it doesn't. And I have to tell you the truth. 80% of the time, it works out. I don't know why. I, I guess, you know, I, th I think it over in my head and then go with it. And hopefully, it works out. And 80% of the time, it does. I have thrown things out that I didn't like. All right, we're almost there. I added another glue stick because I was running out of glue. Always make sure... You have extra glue sticks on hand and right by you, so you don't have to get up and run across the room to get your glue sticks. You want to get you want to get it done, and you don't want to get burnt. You want everything near you. It was really difficult to do these kinds of crafts in my daughter's house, in her because I lived kind of in the bedroom. I had a beautiful bedroom. Okay, so we're at the end of the pleat and I have to do another length of Velcro plus a couple inches. All right, so the Velcro is hot glued on uh, over top of the pleat that we made. 
So I have to finish it off and I will do that off camera, but I wanted to show you what we've done and this part will go right onto the sink. I'm gonna figure out a way to gather it or to make a pleat. Uh, I'm not quite sure um, what I'm going to do. I wanted to somehow make the skirt kind of crinkly or this, this came apart, so I have to re-glue that. But in other words, I don't want a straight look. I want a little bit of a pleating to it. So we'll figure that out. But, but I'm going to finish glue, hot gluing the Velcro onto the top of the skirt off camera. In the meantime, I would like to talk to you about a few things. First of all, I always love it when people show me what they're drinking on camera. The YouTubers tell, tell us what, what kind of soft drink you have or coffee. It, I don't know. I get the biggest kick out of it. So I'm letting you know what I'm drinking today. It's a latte. Uh, it's steamed milk and an espresso. I think I told you before that I bought a machine after I sold my house. I said, if I can't have my home, I want to have a good latte. So this is a latte. And... Boy, did I get my money's worth because lattes are expensive. They're like three, four dollars at Starbucks. And so I'm saving some money. Two, I'm finishing off my wreath, Christmas wreath that I've been working on. Um, and since the hot glue gun's on, I've had all, all these flowers are felt handmade. I told you that before. But I found these pretty sparkly uh, poinsettias. I have one more, and I was thinking, where am I going to put it? Because it just looks like something's missing. I put a little Christmas tree on the top here. It was a little tiny Christmas tree bulb. And so I was thinking, where am I going to put the other um, poinsettia to finish this thing off? And I decided that I want to put it right here, right here. So let's glue that on. I'm put it right here and finish this baby off. I hope everyone is well today. I didn't sleep very well last night. I had a lot of pain in my legs. These, this chemo pill I'm on is brutal. It really attacks your joints and it's difficult to sleep sometimes. That's why I watch my YouTube channels at night. It gives me like a comfort and keeps my mind off of my own darn self. Okay, so we hot glued it on. And maybe it's not so great up there. I don't know, but it's there. I think it's okay. And uh, so this is done. And I'm going to buy some little lights, battery operated lights, and uh, place them on the wreath Christmas time. So that's done. And one more thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, I know that a lot of people do Dollar Street hauls. Well, I happened to go into AC Moore the other day and picked up the prettiest ribbon for fall. And I'm going to be using this ribbon to make a beautiful fall wreath for when I hit 100 subscribers. And uh, you guys have to like my video. And, and when I reach 100, I'm going to pull all the names of my subscribers and I'm going to send off the fall wreath that I'm going to make. So I purchased this beautiful ribbon, this checked I guess it's check. I don't know. And I got some buffalo checked ribbon. I think that is just beautiful. And I bought some of these little fall looking beads that I'm going to put on. They, they have the most pretty color. This one here has orange and like a light lime green. So pretty. And this one here is more orangey, 
burgundy colors, light orange, dark orange, and burgundy. And let's see what else I got here. I purchased the dollar store. These were from the dollar store. I'm, these are from Dollar Tree. These are from AC Moore. But these are Dollar Tree frames. I bought three. And I'm going to be making a whiteboard for a winner. Personalize it for when I get 100 subscribers. Got them from the Dollar Tree. And always, 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 I pick up brushes to wash my dishes. A dollar. I keep them maybe a month and I throw them in the trash. They are the best for washing dishes. I don't like to use rags because I feel like they carry germs and sponges. and So I do use a rag to wipe the tables, uh, counters down, etc. But I like the brushes for the dishes. Um, and this is from AC Moore. This is going to go on one of my fall wreaths that I'm going to give out. And I like this. This this is a little pick with uh, pine cone and leaves and um, cotton. So cute. All right. And this other ribbon I can't show you because I'm going to make someone a wreath. One of the YouTube followers. And uh, they are so sweet and they don't know it yet. But I'm going to be making them a wreath and I don't want them to know what I'm doing. So I can't show you that ribbon, but one, one more thing. I made on my, I guess two videos ago, I made uh, doilies with that cheap material that I purchased at Walmart. Well, I went back to Walmart and I got another piece of material. I think that is beautiful. And I am going to make some other doilies. These are gonna be for Christmas. It's a green checked material. And you can look back on my other videos to see the doilies that I made with that 75 cent piece of material. I have two beautiful, two beautiful doilies for the other ones on the other side. Say hi to Charlie. I think they're adorable. And for 75 cents for two, you cannot beat that. So I, um, I'm, real, I'm really excited about making these for Christmas. That's about it. So please subscribe to my channel. I really would appreciate it. Uh, I promise that I will get better and better as time goes on. Um, I really want to make this worth your while to look at some of my videos um and possibly you'll learn something or you'll like something that i make so thank you for watching and see you soon